welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna be getting ready for the movies. If you know me, you know I love to go to the movies. It's one of my favorite things to do. <laughs> So I decided to film this hair and makeup tutorial for you guys um, right before I headed out. I went to go see the movie Nope. It's a whole look, it's soft and cute, so it can also be used for like a date night or something. So if you wanna see how I got it, then just make sure to keep on watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit that little notification bell. That way you get notified anytime that I make a new upload. So let's jump in to the hair first. A special shout out to RPG Hair for sending over this super flawless HD lace wig. She's got these gorgeous highlights. It's giving, I did no plucking. It came to perfectly plucked. I did bleach the knots, but other than that, this wig is ready to go and she's flawless. I already have my hair pulled back so I can go ahead and put on my wig cap and everything like that. I am gonna be doing the bald cap method today. I have, haven't done the bald cap method very often recently. I've just been like, you know, kind of like bumming it out with, you know, my regular like black or dark brown wig cap. But today I was like, you know what? I'm gonna do the bald cap method. Why not? It's been a while, you know, and sometimes I like to test myself and make sure I actually know how to do this still. <laughs> so yeah, we're gonna be doing the bald cap method. I went ahead and used the Ebon um, Extreme Holds Lace Adhesive to secure my wig cap down. The wig cap that I actually used for this look, I was a little too dark. I don't know why I did that. I should have used one that's like a little bit lighter. Um, but I went ahead and fixed that, you know, using a lace tint. That's like the easiest way I find these days to um, get like uh, my wig cap closer to my skin tone. It's just using a lace tint. Um, I used to use like makeup or like a cream foundation or something or like a powder, but a lace tint is like, especially this one from Ebon, it's perfect. You spray it on and the color is like, gets more and more opaque the more you layer it. So, you know, if you have a wig cap that's like, you know, uh, just needs a little bit of a ch color change, you just do a little bit. If you need it a lot more and then you just do an extra layer, it's perfect, it's awesome. And these ones from Ebon are uh, a spray on adhesive. Like I was gonna say spray on adhesive. It's a aerosol spray. <laughs> so it's like applies onto the, the wig cap perfectly even and everything. So yeah, I'm just gonna go through the steps to get my, my bald cap together. And then I'll go ahead and install the wig. As I mentioned earlier, the wig is pre-plucked. I didn't do any type of plucking. It came perfectly like perfect in the mail. <laughs> I did bleach the knots, but that's pretty much all I did. So I'm just gonna go ahead and install this wig and, you know, get it together, you know, make sure it's nice and secure and everything using that same lace adhesive from Ebon. You already know this is like my go-to lace adhesive. I use it for almost every single install. It's freaking amazing. If you have not tried it, it's awesome and I highly recommend. Um, but yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, secure this lace wig on now and just make sure that the lace adhesive is like completely dry before I start cutting away all of the extra lace. But yeah, so I went to the movies after I did my hair and makeup. I went to go see the movie, Nope. I'm so happy that I did. It was awesome. I loved it. A lot of people, I well, I wouldn't say it a lot of people, but I've heard that there's like been mixed reviews about this particular movie. And um, I'm not sure why, I thought it was awesome. Daniel and Kiki were amazing. Like I loved their performances. The storyline was pretty great. Like. The visuals were great. I loved like the, um, it's a UFO movie, like it's an alien UFO type of film. So you know, I loved like the visuals of it. Like I really liked it. I'm not really sure like why, you know, people have like mixed reviews about it. It made me laugh. It made me super scared and freaked out. I closed my eyes and covered my eyes a couple times because <laughs> I'm like such a scaredy cat. Had some suspense in there. It was great. I really loved it. Like, and the visuals were amazing. Like the film, the actual 
actual um, cinematography was really great. I wouldn't say it's like a horror film because I know Jordan Peele is more so known for his like his horror for being in the horror genre. But yeah, I wouldn't say it's like necessarily a horror film, but it does have like some like pretty uh, like thrilling moments. Like I jumped out of my seat a couple times for sure. And I definitely like, you know, got freaked out a couple times. <laughs> but yeah, the movie was great. I really loved it. If you have it, if you've been thinking about going to see it, go see it. It's awesome. It's great. Love it. Anyways, back to this hair. So yeah, I went ahead and installed this wig. Um, I did a pretty simple like hairstyle with this wig as well. After I finished installing it, I just did like my edges and swooped it using like my new little miniature um, flat iron. I don't know if you guys caught that there. In the past, I would use like my little tiny curling iron, but I found this super tiny flat iron at the beauty supply store. And it's perfect to get like those cute little swoops like when you're doing your edges. So. I I also use just a tiny bit of hairspray just to lay the edges in place. And then for the style, I kept it pretty simple. I didn't want to do anything, anything too crazy because I really wanted to just kind of like show off these super gorgeous highlights. So I decided to do a half up half down style with a middle part and I straightened everything as super flat as I could using my flat iron. Oh, these highlights are gorgeous. I love them. <laughs> and with the hair straight, you can really see like how pretty like the highlights are and like the blending and stuff. It's gorgeous. But yeah, so it's a pretty simple hairstyle, nothing too crazy. Um, I'm gonna leave all of the information for this hair down below in the description box. So if you have any questions, make sure to check there. Thank you again to RPG Hair for sponsoring today's video. This hair is gorgeous. I love it. The highlights, the flawless lace, the length, the density, it's perfection. So yeah, I'll make sure to leave all the information for this hair down below in the description box. So now that we are all done with that, let's go ahead and move into the makeup look. So I'm definitely going to get into some skincare first. I'm going to start off using Verst Auto Save. <laughs> this is their Auto Save Advanced Restoring Serum. So I've been using this, I just started using this serum not too long ago, so I don't really have too many thoughts about it, but it hasn't broken me out, so I love that. And thank goodness. <laughs> Anytime I try something new when it comes to skincare, I always get afraid that it's gonna be, break me out. But this so far, it's been, it's been good. It's supposed to help with like dark spots. And then on the under eyes, I'm gonna be using the Wishful Lift and Contour Eye Serum. This is super good for dark circles. And I also like it because I feel like it kind of like de-puffs my, my eyes. And I feel, cause I always feel like my eyes are a little puffy, especially when I first wake up in the mornings. And then of course I gotta go in with some moisturizer. I'm using Peach and Lily's Matcha Antioxidant Moisturizer. I love this stuff. I've been using it for a while. It's definitely super hydrating and it also has some antioxidants in there to kind of help protect you against all those, you know, environmental thingies that are in the air that are, you know, trying to damage our skin. So yeah, I love that. <laughs> I'll go ahead and move into primer. So the primer that I'm using today is from One Size Beauty. It's their Secure the Blur primer. I've been using this a lot because I love it and it's awesome. It's such a good primer, blurs the skin, holds on to foundation super well. And of course, I'm gonna do some foundation after. The foundation that I'm using today is from Huda Beauty. This is their Faux Filter Luminous Foundation, I think it's called. I could be very wrong, but I'm pretty, I know it's Faux Filter something. It's their Faux Filter Foundation. Um, I am using the shade 440 Golden, and um, I think it's a little on the warm side, but that's okay. I don't really mind that too much. Once I go in with like my concealer and powders and everything like that, it'll kind of like, you know, settle down a little bit. For concealer, I'm going in with my uh, go-to concealer at the moment. This is the Benefit Boing Concealer. I'll make sure to put the shade name in the description box. Like, I, it's like right on the tip of my tongue, but I can't, I can't think of it right now, but I'll just make sure to check the description box for info for the shade name. But yes, this concealer is from Benefits. I've been loving this concealer. It's fantastic. The coverage is great. It's not too drying, but it's also not too like dewy. That's kind of like my favorite finish to kind of go with, like something in the middle. And then to set that concealer in place, I'm gonna go in with my go-to setting powder. This is the Chanel Natural Finish Loose Setting Powder in shade. 
shade number 20. I'm gonna use my favorite Sigma brush to apply that to set the concealer. And then to set the rest of the face, I'm gonna use the Artist Couture Beauty Powder in shade Caramel Light, just a small little bit. The foundation from Huda Beauty is kind of more on the matte side, so um, only a little bit of powder was used to set the foundation. Then moving on to bronzer, I'm using this uh, one from House Labs. I've been loving, loving, loving this bronzer. It's it's amazing, I love it. The shade is perfect. So I'm gonna apply that onto the forehead, a little on the nose and the cheekbones to sculpt and you know bring some extra warmth into the skin. And then I'll go in with a new powder from Sigma. They actually launched some new setting powders and I really, really like them. They're very nice. I'm gonna be using this powder to bake. It has like more of a yellowy undertone, so I thought it'd be perfect to do like my bake for today. And and um, it's, it's, it's really nice, guys. Like this Sigma powder, it's very like, you know, it's very lightweight. It's not like too heavy or anything like that. So it worked perfectly to like bake the under eyes and, you know, I'd give it like that extra smooth, you know, uh, type of look and the yellowy undertone just brightened it perfectly. But yeah, the Sigma powder is definitely like, it's bomb. It's brand new and they just recently launched it. And uh, so far, so good. So after I'm all done with my bake, I'm gonna be using this new uh, blush from Artist Couture. This is their Love Spring blush palette. It's like a peachy tone palette and you guys know, you already know how much I love a good peach blush. So this is like right up that alley. As soon as I saw it, I was like, oh my gosh, it's perfect, it's peach, yes! <laughs> The shade is perfection, guys. It's awesome. I love peach blush, and this one from Ardis Couture is so cute. Uh, as you can see, I'm very happy about it because I'm over here doing a little happy dance because the face is sitting today. <laughs> Um, I went ahead and did my eyebrows off camera and did an, uh, one eye off camera as well. The brows are kind of like same, same these days. So that's the reason why I did it. Just went ahead and did it off camera. Cause it's like, I use the same products, you know, it's the same, you know, Spock eyebrow that I've been doing these days. So nothing new for the brows. Everything's kind of like same there. But the eyeshadow palette that I'm using to create this look is also new. It's from Lava Beauty. They sent over this super cute, it's like neutral toned palette. It has all these beautiful warm tones browns, shimmery shades. So I went ahead and used two of the uh, warm tone brown shades, like the matte shadows in this palette for the crease area. I just kept it really subtle and very soft with the eyes, nothing too crazy. Cause you know, I'm at the movie theater, so you're not gonna be able to see my eye makeup anyway. <laughs> the eyes for this particular look are like perfect for like a good date night. The liner is like, you know, nice and snatched and everything. So I'd say this is like a super cute date night look. So after shadows, I'm gonna add my eyeliner and uh, the eyeliner that I'm using is also from House Labs. This is also a new product. It's just like your typical black gel eyeliner, but I do love the formula of this one. It's very smooth, it glided onto the eyelid space perfectly. Usually liners are kind of tricky because they can like tug and pull, but this one just kind of glided onto the lid space super, super easily. And um, it's really, really pitch black, which I like. I also did a beige liner on the waterline using one from Melt Cosmetics and then added a couple coats of mascara from Milk Cosmetics. This is their Kush Mascara. And then for my nose highlight, I used the Huda Beauty Glow, Obses bleh, the Glow Obsessions <laughs> Highlighter Palette. This is the medium shade one. I just used the, uh, one of the deeper shades in the palette and applied that onto the bridge of the nose and just a tiny little bit onto the, um, the, uh, why can't I talk today? Onto the point of the nose, the tip of the nose, goodness gracious. <laughs> and then I'll go ahead and pop on my little lashes. I've been loving like super short, like kind of more natural looking lashes these days, especially with like this super cute, like winged liner. I feel like it just gives the eyes like a really cute, like lifted look. So I'll make sure to put a link to the lashes down below in the description box as well, if you guys like them. I'm super excited about this lip combo because these are also some brand new products that I just recently got in the mail. This is a Rare Beauty's new lip liner that I'm gonna be using. And I love these liners. They're so, so good. I used a mixture of two different shades to line the lips and you guys, it's giving. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Yeah, these liners are like, they're perfection. I love them. The formula is on points. The shades are everything. Love them. And um, 
Love them. Definitely gonna be using these again in the future. Rare Beauty also launched some new lipsticks with their liners and I'm loving these as well. The packaging is so adorable. Like you click the bottom of it and the lipstick just kind of pops out. These are their new matte lipsticks. I'm using the shade Talented. It's like a cute, like peachy nude. You guys already know how much I love a good nude lip. <sighs> the beauty of Rare Beauty. <laughs> They like all, almost all of the matte lipsticks that they recently launched are like all variations of nudes. Like they're, it's just, yes, I love it. <laughs> but yeah, this lipstick called Talented is definitely one of my favorites from the launch. And then to finish up this look, I'm just gonna set the face with my setting spray from Benefits. This is their Super Setter Setting Spray. After I was done with my makeup, I changed clothes. I wanted to come back and show you guys like my accessories that I put on and the fragrance that I'm using because I just picked up this new fragrance and it's giving all of the vibes. I love it so much. Okay, let me calm down. <laughs> so this fragrance is actually from Dior. It's um, their Hypnotic Poison. It's not too uh, too strong, so it's you know appropriate for like the movie theaters, but it still has that very sultry type of vibe to it. It's, it's perfection. The necklaces I both got from a thrift store here in Miami. I love thrift shopping. It's like one of my favorite pastimes. I always find like the cutest accessories when I'm thrift shopping. And the earrings, I'm pretty sure I bought these like a while ago off of Pretty Little Thing. They're just kind of like these cream, like stud earrings. So I thought it would go perfectly with like the look since it's more of like a neutral toned. A couple of you guys have been asking me about my watch. This is a men's watch from Casio. It's their gold one. And on the other wrist, I just put on my tiger's eye bracelets that I got from a local vendor, you know, while I was at a farmer's market. <laughs> but yeah, so that's pretty much it for this look. I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know if you guys have seen the movie Nope. I'd love to hear you guys' thoughts. I really like it. If you saw it, I hope you did too. But yeah, let me know what you thought of the film down below in the comments. Thank you so much for watching guys, sending lots of love. And um, yeah, hopefully I will see you in the next one.